What is up guys, Legends Wrestling 99 back again for another video. This is the big one, the big prediction video for the big show. WrestleMania 29 is live on pay-per-view next Sunday, just eight days away. And I couldn't wait any longer, I had to make this. If any other matches get added, I'll make an annotation or, you know, somewhere throughout the video. But, uh, can't wait. Eight days, you know, this time next week I'm going to be bouncing off the walls because I know I'm going to WrestleMania tomorrow, so it's just going to be awesome. Yeah, we got the tickets right here. It's all good. So, let's just get into the predictions. But before I get to that, I have some updates for you guys. I got one figure and 10 or 11 DVDs. I forgot to count. But it's all good. So, uh, I'll show you the figure first. Uh, this is Elite Series 19. Daniel Bryan uh, comes with the Yes, Yes, Yes shirt. Uh, it's also an awesome figure, so I had to get it. And, uh, I'll show you guys the DVDs now. So yeah, these are all pay-per-views, uh, two compilation or best of DVDs, whatever you want to say, and a uh, wrestling movie, so we'll get to that now. You got uh, Best of the Intercontinental Championship, uh, Bloodbath, Wrestling's Most Incredible Steel Cage Matches, Royal Rumble 2000, WrestleMania 2000 or 16, whatever you want to call it, King of the Ring, SummerSlam 2004, uh, Great American Bash 2005, SummerSlam 2005, uh, SummerSlam 2003, New Mercy 2003, Bad Blood 2004, and The Wrestler. So this is my pickups. So now, I'm going to take a, a swing of Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> Good stuff. So now, let's get to the WrestleMania 29 prediction. So starting off a match that I think will get bumped out of the pre-show in case they had another match. One one thing about this card is that Antonio Cesaro is not on the card, which is an absolute ridic it's ridiculous because he's the United States champion. He puts on great matches, and WWE knows that's why they're pushing him. He's one of their best guys in the WWE right now, one of my favorites. But uh, I don't know why he's not on the card. He definitely should be added. Whether it's on the pre-show, I don't care. I just want to see him on there. He doesn't deserve to be on the pre-show. He should be on the main show. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah, so... Cesaro should be on the card, but I, I guess I'm not going to complain about it. But, going back to the matches, I think we'll get bumped down to the pre-show. Uh, Brodus Clay, Tenzai, and the Funkadactyls Funk versus Team Root Scholars and the Bella Twins. I think Team Root Scholars and the Bella Twins will win because it's the Bella Twins' first match back in the WWE and, uh, well, let's say I have a match on Raw and SmackDown, uh, coming up, or, or main event coming up in, uh, this following week. But, uh, and Road Scholars lost to Bruce Clay and Tensai at the pre-show of Elimination Chamber. So, uh, I think Road Scholars should get their revenge here. And I want to see them in a future Tag Team Championship run. So, I want to see them win. Team Road Scholars and the Bell Twins for the, ri uh, for the win. Uh... Moving on to the main card now, Intercontinental Championship match, Wade Barrett versus The Miz. I think Wade Barrett will win. I think uh, Miz does not need the title right now. I think Wade Barrett does need it for him to have something to do because I think he just needs something to do until July where I think he will win the Money in the Bank and start making his way back to the main event from there. You know, he was in 2010 and he just slowly fell out, you know, went to SmackDown and just he really wasn't doing much. And you know, now he's Intercontinental Champion. I look at it as a rebuilding thing for him ever since coming back. Uh, you know, he's Intercontinental Champ now. He can move his way up, and he deserves it. So, way better to beat The Miz. Next, you got Chris Jericho versus... Thom. Thom. Go. But uh, Jericho doesn't mind. You know, it's clearly a tell that Jericho does not mind putting people over. I mean, Ziggler, uh, he put over Ziggler... Uh, did he win on a roll? No, he did not win on a roll. But I uh, put a Ziggler over the night after SummerSlam. Uh, I put, I don't know, I know this is like two years ago, or three years ago, but he put Wade Barrett over the night after SummerSlam 2010. Uh, and there's other times I can think of. If you put Jack Swagger over two straight times in two weeks, you know, just building up to WrestleMania. So, uh, clearly, clearly Jericho's not my putting people over, which is why I think Fawn, Dong, go will win. So, uh, yeah, Jericho will lose at WrestleMania. Next, the Tag Team Championship match. Team Hell No versus Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston with AJ Lee. Now, if AJ Lee versus Caitlyn does get added, I would pick AJ Lee. 
But I think Caitlyn will end up being in the corner of Team Hell No at WrestleMania, make it even on the outside. So uh, I'm picking Team Hell No to win. Ziggler doesn't need to hold on to a tag team title right now. He's got the money in the bank briefcase, which I think uh, it's coming soon that he'll cash it in. Not at Mania, but coming soon, which I'll get to later. But uh, Team Hell No will win, and that's that. Next, you got Ryback versus Mark Henry. Uh, it should be a good match. Uh, you know, I'll give Ryback his props. I'm not the biggest Ryback fan, but I'm also not the biggest Henry fan. Um, I'm, I'm liking Henry more than... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I like Henry more than Ryback, but, uh, you know, I prefer him over. But I'll give Ryback his props when he does something spectacular, which he does a lot of times. So, um, Ryback versus Henry, I'm picking Ryback to win. If he gets Mark Henry on his shoulders for shell shock, that's going to be freaking incredible. I, I, I will cheer for him uh, for a freaking year if he does that. You know, I don't know, but that's just going to be awesome if he does get that. But uh, it should be a pretty entertaining match. Hopefully it doesn't drag on because, you know, it's not the the best match between Ryback and Henry, but it should be entertaining, which is why I'm looking forward to it. So I'm picking Ryback to beat Mark Henry at WrestleMania 29. Next, you got the 3-on-3 uh, three -three tag team match. Uh, Randy Orton versus The Big Show. Well, Randy Orton and The Big Show and Sheamus versus The Shield. Um, who I'm picking to win this match is The Shield because uh, last month at the Elimination Chamber, you know, you had John Cena, Ryback, and Sheamus. They could not beat The Shield. So I'm not going to believe that a weaker team, in my opinion, of Orton, Big Show, and Sheamus can beat The Shield. And uh, besides, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, this is where Shields finally get a... Get their people like Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show are gonna get their revenge on the Shield, but I don't, I don't really care. I want the Shield to win at WrestleMania. They deserve it. All three of those guys are spectacular. And once the Shield eventually ends, I don't know what Roman Reigns is gonna do, but I can tell you this: Dean Ambrose is gonna be a monster heel, and Seth Rollins is gonna be a big face. I'm just, I'm just saying that now. But uh, Shield will win at WrestleMania 29. Settle for the mid card. Uh. Yeah, that's all. So now we'll move on to the World Heavyweight Championship. Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. Um, I want to see Swagger win. You know, I'm, ever since last month at the Chamber, I've been really liking what Swagger's doing. And I really think that, you know, he should win. But it doesn't make sense in the long run. The long run being, you know, Extreme Rules in May. So Alberto Del Rio will win. And then they'll probably, they will definitely end up having a submission match at Extreme Rules. You know, arm breaker or on board, whatever you want to call it, versus the uh, Patriot Lock. And uh, besides, if Ziggler's going to cash in, which I think he will at Extreme Rules, um, it's going to be against, uh, he's going to cash in against a face. He's not going to cash in against the heel because he needs someone to work with the next month, which will be payback in June. But um, unless, you know, Swagger beats Del Rio and then Ziggler cashes in on Swagger and then you go into a three-way because, uh, you know, now Swagger and Del Rio both get opportunities. So that would make sense, but... I just see Del Rio winning and uh, eventually losing it to Dolph Ziggler at Extreme Rules. So, I'll bring you Del Rio to beat Jack Swagger. And I wouldn't mind if Swagger won, but Alberto Del Rio will win. Next, you got The Undertaker versus CM Punk. Streak 20 0 versus 21 0. I guess you can call it. Um, Well, not. Punk's going for 21 0. You, you guys get what I mean. But uh, I would. I want to see CM Punk win at WrestleMania, but there's no way. There is absolutely no way he's going to beat The Undertaker. So it's a simple pick here. Undertaker to beat CM Punk. And after the match, you know, it's going to be cool because I'm sure Hope Undertaker will put the urn in his hand and, you know, do the thing. Yeah, you guys put a hard the urn, which will be cool just to see. And uh, it's going to be cool. Undertaker will get to get the urn back at uh, WrestleMania. And we'll go 21 0 against CM Punk. Uh, next, you have Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. No holds barred. If Triple H loses, he must retire. Um, I know people are saying this is an obvious pick, Triple H, but it's not obvious in my opinion, because, you know, what does Triple H have to do? You know, he's not going to feud with Lesnar after WrestleMania, you know, it's set and done after WrestleMania, so what's there for Triple H to really do that's left, you know, what are you going to put him in a feud with who? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I could see Brock Lesnar winning, but I can also see Triple H winning, but I'm going with my gut feeling here, and saying that Brock Lesnar will beat Triple H, and, uh, I wouldn't, I don't care... To see Triple H, you know, wrestle anymore, you know, it's awesome because, you know, it's rare. But if this is his last match at WrestleMania, I could be perfectly fine with that. So Brock Lesnar will beat Triple H, at least in my opinion. 
And moving on to the main event of WrestleMania 29, John Cena versus The Rock for the WWE Championship. Um, now this is an obvious pick. John Cena will beat The Rock and become the new WWE Champion. Get his revenge for WrestleMania 28. Uh, there's no way The Rock's walking out the champ. If he does walk out the champ, uh, God knows what they're gonna do. I mean, he could walk out. Let's be honest. He could walk out. That what you know, the champion. Why does it look like I just got real bright on the camera? I don't know. Look, I got brighter in here. But uh, he could walk out the champ because look, like, Rock and Rock and Brock are both set for Extreme Rules in May. So Rock could win the W. Well, win the against Cena at WrestleMania and then Cena beats Rocket Extreme Rules. It could happen, but I don't think it's going to have the same revenge factor for Cena because, you know, he lost at WrestleMania, the biggest show of the year. It's As he's been saying, it sent, it sent his life into a spiral. Uh, but, you know, Cena's going to get his revenge. It's going to happen at WrestleMania. It's not going to happen at Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules is where they'll probably have the rematch, but Lesnar is also set for Extreme Rules, so maybe they'll do a three-way there. I know Punk is taking time off of Domania, which he deserves because, you know, he's been on, like, almost every single pay-per-view last year besides TLC. He's been doing, every, like, every role. He was on a lot of SmackDowns last year, a lot of live events, went to, like, a bunch of autograph signings, Comic-Cons, and whatnot. So he definitely deserves time off, and he does a lot of media the past year, so he does a lot, does deserve it. Um, and he's banged up, too. He's got a knee injury and other stuff, so Punk definitely deserves time off, so... Punk will, Punk's not going to be a factor for Extreme Rules, but you got Rock and Brock in there, which is going to bring the ratings in, which will be good. Which will probably lead to a three-way, because if Lesnar's, if they don't make it a three-way, then what's Lesnar well, and or The Rock going to do? And Because like, if they do Cena and Rock at Extreme Rules, what's you know Brock going to do at Extreme Rules? But if they do Cena and Brock at Extreme Rules, maybe they'll do a rematch, what's Rock going to do? So, it will probably end up, Cena will win at Mania, and then he'll probably end up doing a three-way at Extreme Rules, which will be awesome, because, you know, that's, like, three of the biggest guys ever, not biggest, like, that way, but, you know, popular, popularity, if that's what you want to say, but, um, yeah, so I guess that's it for the WrestleMania 29 predictions, uh, eight days away, I'm pumped, I can't wait any longer, I just want to get to MetLife Stadium, I just want to walk to my seat and see the grandeur, and the stage and the freaking ring and it's gonna be awesome and uh, yeah, seventy thousand people just surrounding me <laughs> it's gonna be freaking awesome I can't wait WrestleMania twenty nine there's my prediction video guys and uh, I'm still deciding uh, what to wear it's either gonna be not not the punk shirt it's either gonna be the shield shirt the Lesnar shirt or the yes 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 shirt so I'm still thinking about that not sure though but uh, <laughs> there's my WrestleMania twenty nine predictions guys. Uh, my CZW Russell, at WrestleCon preview is coming. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that today, too. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. But, uh, yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know I did. WrestleMania 29. Peace out.